Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to Eric Blackman Guitar. In this session, we're going to be talking about the number seven. Seven is certainly an important number in our daily lives. Seven is a prime number, which means it cannot be obtained by multiplying two smaller numbers together. There are seven days in a week. Seven is considered to be a lucky number. If you break a mirror, you get seven years of bad luck. There's the seven wonders of the world, the seven deadly sins, the seven vices, seven virtues, the seven seas. Pearl Harbor Day is December 7th. Now that date has huge importance to me because I was born on December 7th. With that said, let's look at some of the ways that the number seven is important to music. There are seven letters that represent musical notes. Those letters are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Played this way. B, C, D, E, F, G. Those are the seven natural notes. Now natural means no flats or sharps. There are 12 notes in all, but the other five notes are represented by adding a flat or a sharp sign to one of the existing seven letters. The seven natural notes make up the white keys on the piano. If you rearrange these notes and start from the note C, you get the C major scale, which sounds like this. That's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and we're back to C. These are the seven notes that rule all of music. All other major scales are modeled after the key of C major, which has seven notes. All the major scales that exist are made up of seven notes chosen from the total of 12 notes that exist. There are seven notes in a major scale. There are seven chords in every major key. Now where do the seven chords come from? Let me show you. Basic chords contain three notes. We call these triads. Triads come from every other note of a major scale. If we take the key of C major, or the C major scale, which is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and if we choose every other note from the key of C major, starting with the note C, we get C, E, G. These are the notes in a C major chord. If we use this process, on each of the seven notes in the scale, we will wind up with seven chords. C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, and B diminished. These are the chords that would make up a song in the key of C major. 
These are the seven chords of a major key or scale. This can be done with any major key or scale. So this is the process that you would use to figure out what chords are in any key. Here is another musical use for the number seven. If you have a single from a pair of dice, like this one around, and you know the number of sharps that are in a major scale or key, you can use simple math to figure out how many flats would be in its alternate flat key. For example, the key of B major has five sharps. Flip the dice over and the key of B flat major has two flats. The key of A has three sharps. The key of A flat has four flats. The key of G major has one sharp. The key of G flat major has six flats. You see, the number of inharmonic tones in two alternate keys always add up to seven. Well, why does this even work? The reason it works is because the number on the top of the die and the number on the bottom of the die always add up to seven. Three and four is seven. One and six is seven. Five and two is seven. Well, what do you know? The number of inharmonic tones in two alternate keys always add up to seven. Well, my friends, these are just some of the ways that the number seven applies to music. Thanks for watching and have a great day.